Hey guys, I'm Tino Keevan, and today we have a really exciting unboxing from speedcube.com.au. This is a package I've been really looking forward to opening, so let's get right into it. And so as you can see inside we have the all new X-Men Galaxy Megaminx version 2 as well as this pretty nifty little speedcube.com.eu cube stand. Now this is a very new release from them and when I saw it on the store I just had to get it. Plus these are only like a dollar so buy one. Anyways let's get into the Galaxy V2. This cube is super exciting. So as well as the cube it looks like we have another little thing inside and before I chuck this away I just want to say this is actually a really cool box very interesting shape but I think it looks pretty awesome um, so we have a bunch of Megaminx algs as you can see here this might actually be useful because I do want to learn some more and here we have this little X-Man box I think there'll probably be spare parts in here but I might just double check yeah I was right, there are just a little bag of spare parts, so that's pretty good if you do break one. But most importantly, let's get into the Megaminx that we want to see in this video. So before we do get into first turns, as some of you may know, this cube is actually a fair bit smaller than the V1. And I think personally, this is something that I'm really going to like. And I can already tell compared to the V1, this is just so much easier to hold. Also, as you can see, the centerpieces are more rounded. And a lot of the cube just feels more bubbly. And I think that's because, like a lot of people have been saying, this cube is almost a mix between the Alcon and the V1. And that's really evident just looking at the puzzle. But with that being said, let's get into my first turns and first impressions. If it's not already obvious, by no means am I actually any good at Mega Minx. But already, I can tell that I like this cube a lot more than the V1. For starters, for me personally, because it is a bit smaller, it is so easy to grip and it makes the algorithms really effortless. I think at this stage, while it is naturally fairly fast, I think it could definitely do with speeding up. And I think that's mainly just because it is pretty tight, as most Mega Minxes are stock. I'm not really sure what is viable for Megaminx corner cutting, but this seems all right, especially for the tensions it's on. But overall, so far, I'm really loving this Megaminx. While I don't own a V1, I have done a fair few solves on one that my friend has, and while they're really good, I think personally, this is already better. However, I definitely do think that a bit of tensioning and some lubing will definitely make it a lot better. So I think I'm gonna go and tension and lube this cube, do a decent amount of solves on it, and come back with my first impressions. Since I first unboxed the X-Men Galaxy version 2, I've had a few days to play around with this cube and delve deeper into my opinion. And so far, I love everything about this cube. Starting with the size, compared to its predecessor, the version 2 size is just perfect. I can't say whether this cube might be too small for cubers with bigger hands, but for me at least, and a lot of cubers I'm sure, it's amazing. Gripping the cube while solving is super comfortable and it makes algorithms and looking for pieces so much easier. The turning of this puzzle is also just so great. It's fast, but not too uncontrollable and satisfyingly smooth. I haven't gotten around to setting this cube up just yet, and for my speed, straight out of the box, this cube is already so good. I'm thinking of doing a setup video, so if you would like to see that, please leave a like and let me know. Like I mentioned in my unboxing, I am super slow at Megaminx, but since I started solving with this cube, my times have improved instantly by about 45 seconds. I think this is a result of me becoming more motivated to solve because of this cube, combined with the X-Men Galaxy version 2's brilliant performance. So overall, I really do love this Megaminx. Its smaller size, tremendous performance, and wonderful feel all culminate in this fantastic Megaminx. If you seriously practice Megaminx or want to get into it more and are looking for an amazing Megaminx, then I think this cube is 100% the way to go. If you would like to purchase the X-Men V2, it's only $20 US or $28 Australian, and I'll leave a link in the description. 
Anyways, that's it for my unboxing and fairly in-depth first impressions on the X-Men Galaxy Mega Minx version 2. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I also want to thank you all so much for 500 subscribers and let you know that I do have a giveaway coming out very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. But that's it. I'll see you all in the next one and have a great day.